So let's go to the last part of uh, paper two, which is presentation. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slides must display a little and bulleted list. Create a presentation of six slides. So create a presentation of six slides using the SP2 evil. The easiest way of opening this type of file, if you check it in the working area, SP2 evil RTF file, It is in this specific way. You really don't need to copy and paste it into the PowerPoint because you easily can do it through opening it this file directly from PowerPoint. So let's do this. First we have to close this. Open the PowerPoint. No need to create any new. Just go into your working area and open that file. You will find that it is looking empty over here. What you have to do to make sure that all files are presented or open. So the file name is sp 2 evil Okay. Here we go. You will find that everything is organized and neatly imported. So let's start with the first slide. Format slide 1 so that the title slide layout is applied. Right click and layout and make sure it's a title slide. The title and subtitle are centered on the slide. This is center and this is center. In case they are not centerized, you have to make sure they are center. Your name appears after the text summary of the key findings by Use a master slide to display the following features, only which must appear consistently on all slides. So right now we're supposed to start to open the master slide and change all these features only in the master slide. That means if I change it in one place, it will be applied to all of my six slides automatically. To do this, we have to go to view, click on slide master, and make sure to go to the very top first slide master don't forget and change it over other sub slides that won't make effect to all of the slides that you have it to make effect on all the slides you make sure you're selecting the first slide here so first of all we need to put uh, the company's logo which is supposed to be presented anywhere okay as my title is over here Okay, let's go and check first the company logo. This is the one. They didn't mention where to put it on the left, bottom, up, left or up, right side. We can manage that by ourselves. That's the first thing. Next thing, your name, center number and candidate number supposed to be mentioned an automatic slide number on the top right corner okay I got something to be confirmed here it means I cannot take this area at all which is reserved for the automatic slide to make sure those things are inserted I have to go to insert tab header and footer whatever is showing to me over here for example currently this is the page slide number footer whatever I will write here it will show and the date currently I only added this none of these three tabs are going to show if I try to close the master slide you will notice only the logo is added and there is nothing in the footer added because they are not activated to activate them we actually don't need all of them let's go back to slide master first slide insert and header and footer we need to only activate the slide number as we are asked to and we're supposed to add it only at the top right corner okay let's activate it so this area is supposed not to be here here's the slide number i can take it and put it over here okay let's close it close it and let's make sure are they added 
yes they're at it currently my logo is not appearing correctly it's overlapping with the titles I need to go and handle this so I am done with the automatic slide number let's see the logo where we can replace we can place it this area sorry we have to go to the first this location seems fine maybe I might need to reduce the size a little bit and make the master slide a little bit smaller I mean the title we probably can expand this a little bit by reducing the content and pushing this down okay that's the second thing added the third thing needs to be added is the name number and candidate number that is not mentioned in which location so we can add it in the footer in anywhere to add it again again we have to go to insert header and footer I will just activate the footer and put whatever I want to write it down here in the footer okay apply to all and here we go it is added I would like to put it this to the this is oh actually there is nothing on the left so I would prefer to put it in the middle over here let's close it we're done great I have the slide number the logo and the footer with my name candidate number and center number make sure no other features are displayed nothing and mainly they're not overlapping with the title using the data in the table sp2 duration in the csv file create a vertical bar chart to show a duration of apprenticeships in 2017 by subject area we have to read this question quite carefully that they want to show the apprenticeships only in 2017 by subject area first let's have a look at the file sp2 duration okay we have a length of training we have different subjects and we have here the column for different years we can see that in year 2017 they ask me for apprenticeship duration for each year we can see in agriculture and different subjects and what is needed actually from the question that we need only 2017 subject area so we need to make um, we need to make a vertical bar chart to show this to only criteria so for first of all we highlight over this and second thing we will need is the subject names and let's go to insert using the recommended charts or I can go over here and choose the specific chart that I need to or if it is recommended here why not and I can click over it okay that looks good I got my subject and the duration for each subject only for year 2017 let's check the other criteria label the chart with the title the title is supposed to be average apprenticeship duration and label the chart with the following so value axis and the category axis I need to label both of them whenever I have category axis it will be according to the category and whatever will hold the number it will be the value uh, axis or a uh, value axis sometimes the the category axis can be also in numbers for example the month numbers or probably different numbers which should be like mostly like a category rather than just random numbers so usually a category is an organized sequence of numbers you can denote or categorize according to it okay we need to add the labels actually the labels already added which we can see over here and here but we need the title label so we 
have to go to access titles and we have to add for both of them that's the one it's the second for the value access I need to say here's the value access durations the second one it's supposed to be subject or area okay we're done with this so format the value axis scale to display so what I have to format right now the value axis which is this month and duration so to format this directly all I need to do is just click on it and right click and format the axis I will get the window that is specially for the value axis in case I change it it's going to be messed up in different ways and it will be difficult for me to find it from here probably this is the easiest way just click on it and oh sorry click on the value access right click and format access minimum value is supposed to be zero which is mentioned here uh, maximum value is supposed to be 28 okay great it changed so the maximum value is zero, uh, starting from uh, zero till 28 actually this change it's supposed to be okay so minimum supposed to be 0 till 28 maybe 28 is not showing here but the highest value maximum value is 28 and the increment supposed to be by 4 so again I have to go since I closed it and the increment here usually I care about the major increment I should ignore the minor increment over here and I change it according to the value it is given to me which is for this will change automatically if okay, this is correct correct and this is correct and the increment here is happening each four values from 0 till 28 we're done with this point so display the value as a data labels on each bar so I need to show the values on each bar over here so I can do this from here data labels and I can add it in any place okay that seems better so it's added here for each value how much I am getting of duration for each subject to not display a legend where actually by default it is not displayed which is only one color we better not to put it so just remove it uh, place the chart to the left of the bullets point of the bullet points on the slide with the title average duration so that's in the PowerPoint okay it's selected already average duration so what we have to do we have to place the chart on the left side of this bulleted points well, means we have to put this to the right side okay that's great and let's take the chart right now I believe it is all complete and we have to put it over here make sure that all data labels are displayed in full Okay, everything looks perfect maybe I can expand this over here and expand this a little bit more as it has more details here save the presentation and then print the presentation with six slides on on to the page means six presentation let's save it it's supposed to be saved in our working area mm -hmm. we shouldn't forget to save the extension with pptx after that it, uh, after it is saved we go to file and print and we have to print six slides per one page either vertically or horizontally nothing mentioned in the question but the only difference that if it is going to be uh, vertically the sequence from up to down 
and if it is horizontally then it is from left to right so nothing is mentioned here we can choose any of the options and print the page uh, with the six slides we can notice also that the name uh, candidate number center number added on every slide over here after this the next print out print only the slide with the title average duration by subject area as a single slide in a landscape in landscape orientation which fills the page so this will be print out seven and we have to make sure that the name center number and candidate numbers are visible on a, on that slide so we choose the slide which is this one we go to print and we have to change into the selected print we have to make sure that it is in the landscape or full page and it is definitely showing landscape uh, page is showing uh, name and center and candidate numbers also visible and that's all that's all we uh, print out our seventh i hope you enjoyed it